I have the Oreos, the one, the only. You know, a lot of store chains sell their kind of knockoff, cheaper Oreo kind of cookies, and you'll see some other brands that do, uh, you know, high-end, supposedly like healthier versions. And I wanna find out today if spending a little bit less money uh, means that you're going to get a lower quality product, or if maybe you're spending a little bit more money if you get a better cookie. And I'm also gonna try a couple of uh, gluten-free options to see how similar they are to the original uh, Oreo cookie to see if people, you know, if they have gluten sensitivity, if they're actually missing out on anything. So there's way too much stuff on this table right now, so I'm gonna clear some of it off uh, and then we'll get started. All right, first off, let's open up these original Oreo cookies. We're gonna use those as the comparison. They're like the uh, control to see how everything else compares to them. So for the Oreos, I've got the golden and I've got the original. And first up, I'm gonna try tuxedos to see how they compare. Now I bought these at my local Safeway. Uh, you can also get them at Albertsons or Vons or whatever the equivalent uh, grocery store is in your area. And I noticed that uh, tuxedos tended to cost a little bit less, maybe 33%, 50% less than uh, Oreos. So you're saving a little bit of money. And I do have this little pot that I'm going to fill up with milk because cookies are always better with milk. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to dig into this. <laughs> All right, so first off, I'm gonna try the original. Okay, that's interesting right off the bat. They look a little bit washed out in color, not quite that dark chocolate cocoa uh, color of Oreos. These look like they might have been put in the washing machine with some bleach or something. <laughs> I don't know, let's see how they uh, compare. So the regular Oreos. flavor is almost identical between the two, but I think the tuxedos are a little bit more crumbly. If you look at them, I think there is more cookie and less cream in the tuxedos. So that might be something to consider. I think with a flavor, we're like a nine out of 10 for almost there. Now, I really like the crumbly texture. You know, Oreos, in my opinion, they're not my favorite cookie. They're still pretty good though. So I'm gonna give the original Oreos, let's say a six and a half out of 10. That's like the baseline, right? And I'll give these guys a seven out of 10. I thought they were pretty good. So if you're looking to save some money and uh, want something that's very similar to Oreos, maybe check out the tuxedos. Now the next one are the golden tuxedos. Now if you look, the color of the tuxedos are a little bit more pale than uh, the original Oreos. I think the Oreos have a little bit more color to them. Uh, golden Oreos are actually, uh, I like them more than the original Oreos. So the flavor on these tuxedos are a little bit different. Maybe like a seven and a half, eight out of 10 for how close the flavor is to the uh, golden Oreos. So not quite the same, but I feel like these taste a little bit more like a, a shortbread almost, like they're a little bit more buttery. And they're a little bit more dense than the uh, golden Oreos. So if you like shortbread, maybe check them out. I'm gonna give the golden Oreos a seven out of 10, and I'll give these guys, uh, I'll give these guys a seven out of 10 too. They're, they're pretty good. Now onto the specialty flavors. I saw we had chocolate cookie with chocolate filling and a special peppermint, peppermint flavor cookie. The, this is around the holidays, so this is probably like a limited time offer. The tuxedo penguin is wearing a little Santa hat. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh. So I opened that up and it smells like an after-dinner mint. <laughs> Let's see how these things taste.
It has a distinct toothpaste flavor. <laughs> so mint and peppermint flavored candies are never my favorite. And I think these taste like something you get from the dentist's office, not the best. So I'm gonna give these a four out of 10. Uh, not, not really good. On to the double chocolate. Looks like these things might even have a little bit more cream in them. Well, that's definitely chocolate. It almost tastes like a cooled off cup of hot cocoa or something. So a really strong cocoa flavor. It looks like you're able to part them pretty well. That's always important when you're uh, considering Oreos, right? Yeah, I would almost call those a uh, hot cocoa flavor. I'm gonna give these a six out of 10. A straight up cocoa is not really my favorite flavor, so that's something to consider. But if you like cocoa, check them out. They're not too expensive. So overall, the tuxedos, uh, the original did a pretty good job of imitating the uh, Oreo flavor. Now the peppermint, I'll take a pass on that. The other flavors were uh, pretty good. I especially liked the golden tuxedos, but one thing is that they are very difficult to uh, get apart, unlike the original Oreos, which, you know, you can part them pretty easily. So next time you're at Safeway or Vaughn's and you want to save a little, if you're craving some Oreos, give them a shot. They're really good. All right, next up are three varieties from three different stores. They're all the typical chocolate sandwich with the white cream filling. <clears throat> the first one is Market Pantry, the uh, store brand that you'd get at, at Target. So first of all, they look really similar to Oreo cookies. They're almost identical in color. Got pretty much the same cream to cookie ratio. not very pleasant in my opinion. Uh, the flavor, I feel like the flavor was a little bit flat, didn't have quite as much sweetness and punch and chocolate flavor that you get from an Oreo, but really these, uh, the texture of them felt like I was chewing a really stale cookie. So not very good at all. I'm gonna give these a three and a half out of 10. And yeah, I mean, parting them, even that, it failed that test. Give it one more shot. <laughs> Complete failure. All right, Target, total miss. Uh, if you see these at Target, give them a pass. They're no good at all. Next up is Kroger brand. They're just called Original Chocolate Sandwich Cookies. So Kroger has a couple of different chains. Uh, I buy these at a, my local Fred Meyer. If you have a QFC or a Kroger store, uh, it's the same, same uh, company. You'll be able to find those there. That's awesome. See, it actually says dip them, love them on top. So again, very similar ratio of like cookie to cream in the uh, Kroger brand cookies. I gotta remind myself what Oreos actually taste like. These are absolutely identical. There is no difference between these two. So if you're at your core, your Fred Meyer, and you see these and you want some Oreos, pick them up. They'll save money. They are exactly the same. One last test. See if I can split it. A little bit of trouble, but really not too bad. So bravo, Kroger. You made a perfect replica of Oreo cookies. So for the Kroger cookies, 10 out of 10 for tasting like Oreos, and the exact same score, 6.5 6 out of 10 for the flavor. Just my personal opinion. Next up, Hydrox. Now most of these, uh, you can call them Oreo knockoffs, but Hydrox is a company that started making these sandwich cookies in 1908, and Oreos, first started in 1912. 
So if anything, Oreos are knockoff of these cookies. So these are like the original, original. So it looks like they're very similar, like in the similar vein, but they are certainly different. Like I don't even think they're trying to be uh, similar to Oreos. Looks like the Hydrox is a little bit darker and a little bit more cream. Maybe it'll be a little bit more bitter, so you get more of that cocoa flavor. Let's see. Yeah, definitely less sweet than the Oreos. I was expecting there to be more cocoa flavor, but not quite. That's not quite uh, the way I'd put it. It's a unique flavor. Hard to put it. It's almost like it's a little bit more earthy. Like there's a little bit of a deeper flavor in there. They come apart very easily, even easier than uh, Oreos. So let's try the cream just by itself. Okay, with the cookies by themselves, you can really taste that deep uh, cocoa flavor. That earthiness was actually coming from the cream. Really rich, a little bit more crispy than the Oreos. So are they similar? No, not really. I'm, I'm gonna give it like a four or five out of 10 for how similar they are. But I don't think these things are even trying to be similar to Oreos. So if you want something that's not quite as sweet, uh, yeah, check these out. I'm gonna give them a seven and a half out of 10. I think they're pretty dang good. A little bit of a creamier cream and a crispier cookie. Yeah, I, I really like these. Not Oreos, but still dang good. All right, next to try. Great Value brand, Twist and Shout. The so Great Value, that's the Walmart store brand. Now one thing that's cool about these is they had a lot of really interesting varieties. They had Key Lime Pie, which has a lime filling and a graham cracker sandwich. I love Oreos with graham cracker sandwiches, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. They have a chocolate banana flavor. Uh, we also have the original and the ever popular mint chocolate. Now you guys know how I feel about mint flavored things. So we'll see uh, how the mint holds up. So first to try, the original. It looked very similar to Oreos, maybe a little bit more cream. And they come apart very easily. Gotta give credit where credit's due, man. That's pretty impressive. Maybe a 7 out of 10 or so for how similar they are to Oreos. They're a little bit different, not quite as much of a chocolate cocoa flavor, and a little bit more sweet, I think. Are they good? You know, if you've got a sweet tooth and you're at Walmart, give them a shot. They're pretty good. You know me, I've got a huge sweet tooth, so I like them. I'm gonna give them a 7 out of 10. Now one thing I noticed is that the filling doesn't quite go to the edge of the cookie. It's like this little blot in the very middle. Now with these mint things, they are completely packed. That is so much mint cream. And it's this completely unnatural, like pastel green. <sighs> oh my gosh. Mint flavored things are awful. I like mint, just not mint flavored. <laughs> Yeah, guys, it's like eating Listerine. Like, this is literally like mouthwash. I mean, it's a different flavor, so I can't compare them directly, like apples to apples, to the Oreos. And the flavor is just, it just tastes like artificial candy, chemically mint. Three out of 10, really no good. If you like mint candy, maybe you like them more than I do, but that's my honest opinion. So next up, the chocolate banana. Hopefully these taste a little bit less artificial. No actual bananas were used in the making of these cookies. They do have an interesting banana uh, smell to them. 
So let's see if that translates at all to the flavor. A right, chocolate banana, that's like a classic combination. You know, think of like a banana split with uh, chocolate sauce on top of it. So these chocolate banana cookies, they're not nearly as like outright offensive as I thought they would be. They definitely do have that artificial uh, candy banana flavor to them, but that flavor is actually quite mild. It just tastes like a decent chocolate cookie with a little bit of just like a hint of banana in there. These are really unique. You know, if you're looking for something different, go to Walmart and give them a shot. I'll say they're like a 6 or a 7 out of 10, somewhere around there. Pretty good. I don't know if I'd get them on a regular basis, but I'd definitely buy them every now and then. Key lime. It's got that same like pastel green uh, filling color that the mint had. Not super reassuring, but I'll keep an open mind because I really like sweet and uh, tart flavors, like sweet and citrus. I think like lemon meringue pie and that kind of thing. Man, they did not hold back on that lime flavoring. Wow, <laughs> that was a kick in the mouth. <laughs> so that was a lot more tart than I thought it would be. But like I said, I really love that uh, lime tart citrus flavor. So I'm gonna give these a seven out of 10 for flavor. They're pretty dang good. If you don't like super tart foods, if you don't like your oranges, your lemons, uh, things like that, you might not like it. But I thought it was really great. The outside cookie, is really crisp, it's really crunchy. I think a little bit more than I would have wanted it to be. It's not quite that crumbly texture that you get in a graham cracker, but uh, it's still not too bad. So like I said, seven out of 10, not too bad. All right, that does it for the big chain of stores that I uh, went to. Next up, I'm gonna try these JoJo's. Now, I bought these at Trader Joe's. If you're unfamiliar, it's uh, kind of a small hipster kind of shop where you can buy really interesting, weird, kitschy things. Trader Joe's reminds me a little bit of Sprouts if you're from uh, the Southwest. All right, now the box says that these are vanilla cream sandwich cookies. So right off the bat, uh, I don't know how well you can uh, see this, but the cream actually has little black specks in it like it was made with actual vanilla bean. And it came apart nice and easy, if that's something that you're looking for. Looks like it has a lot more cream in it than uh, an Oreo cookie. So, quick comparison to see how it tastes. All right, it's a little disappointed to see that this has natural vanilla flavor as opposed to like vanilla extract but it does have vanilla bean seeds in it so I'll give it that it does have a really distinct vanilla flavor to it though like I don't think they're even trying to be uh, similar to Oreos in that sense so for similarity I give it like a 5 out of 10 interestingly the Jojo's are a little bit less sweet and a deeper flavor the cream by itself actually wasn't very sweet it was a very rich vanilla flavor though. So if you're looking for something that uh, has a good authentic actual flavor to it, you know, not just an artificial or natural flavoring, um, you might like these. I'm gonna give them a six out of 10. I think they could stand to be a little bit sweeter. Next up, the chocolate with vanilla cream. Again, comparing to the original Oreo. Alright, so you can tell that this has, you know, again, that real authentic vanilla flavor, but I noticed that it didn't have quite as much, like, impact, if that makes sense, in the flavor as the original uh, Oreo. 
So for how similar they are, maybe like a four or five out of 10, not super similar. But I did notice that these have a little bit less salt in them. And uh, salt, you know, it really carries flavor. Like when you think of Oreos, you don't think that they taste salty or you don't think of salt but that extra salt does bring out other flavors. It brings out the uh, cocoa flavors, for example. But these actually taste a little bit flat. I'd give them a pass, maybe a four and a half or a five out of 10. Not the best uh, ones out there. For the first specialty uh, cookies, these are JoJo's that are gluten-free. So they came from the same Trader Joe's, just no gluten. So if you got celiac disease, listen up, let's see how they compare. Now these guys are made with a blend of different flours. <laughs> Tapioca, potato, corn, soy, rice, yeah, just a whole bunch of different kinds of flours that have no gluten in them. They look a little bit wonky. <laughs> they look like they might be, you know, rejects from the original cookies. <laughs> They come apart pretty easily though, so that's one plus. If you like that authentic Oreo experience, you know, you need to be able to pull them apart. Okay, wow. Not even a bit like Oreos, but that is not bad at all because these have a really crumbly texture to them. They taste and feel like, you know, if you could imagine chocolate graham crackers. That's what these things are like. That is fantastic. I love that. Really crumbly, sandy texture. Wonderful flavor to them. A lot of deep chocolate, <clears throat> cocoa flavor in there. These are so good. These are way better than the original Oreos and way better than the gluten-filled JoJo's. Oh my goodness. Uh, these are a little bit more pricey, but I would take these over the original JoJo's any day of the week. You are not missing out if you uh, need to avoid gluten. I'm gonna give these things like an eight and a half, maybe even a nine out of 10. Really fantastic. All right, now we're getting into like the specialty uh, organic fruit fruit cookies. Now those first organic cookies from Trader Joe's were so good. I'm gonna jump right into Glutino cookies. Uh, Glutino is a company, a brand that makes all kinds of different gluten-free like crackers and cookies and things like that. Uh, so I got their chocolate vanilla cream cookies. We'll give them a shot, see how they compare. So these are made again with a combination of a bunch of different kinds of flours tapioca, rice, cassava, uh, potato flour, but no gluten. <laughs> oh man. If you've ever heard uh, food described as rustic, I think that qualifies right there. Uh, for those that don't know, when you hear food be described as rustic, it usually means that it's just really messy. Like this looks like something that I might make at home. <laughs> All right, let's give it a shot. So the Glutino cookies, if you take a look, see how well you can see, the Glutino cookies are packed with a ton of cream in the middle. This looks like a double stuffed Oreo. Uh, the texture, not even close to an Oreo. It's more like a really crisp cracker uh, with the chocolate flavoring on it and some cream on top of that. Really great uh, flavor in my opinion, really great uh, crunch to them. You know, it reminds me of like the crisp that you get when you're eating potato chips or something like that. So for similarity, again, like a four or five out of 10 compared to Oreos, not very similar at all, but flavor really beats out the Oreos. These are a good seven and a half or so out of 10. So if you are gluten-free and you see some Glutino cookies, give them a shot. They are really dang good. Next up are Newman O's. These are Newman's own brand. Plenty of gluten in these guys, but they are organic. So let's see if organic really does taste better when it comes to your sandwich cookies. They look pretty similar to Oreos. 
a little bit more of a washed out color, a little bit of a lighter color. We'll see how the flavor stands out. So the Newman O's, they do have a unique, distinct flavor to them. I think it's the fact that they use real sugar in there, not like high fructose corn syrup or anything. So you can really taste a nice sweetness to them, a nice crunch, very similar texture to Oreos, um, but definitely a different, distinct flavor. So on the flavor front, again, maybe like a four or five out of 10, very, uh, not very similar to Oreos. But in my opinion, it's got a unique, uh, deep, rich flavor that doesn't taste nearly as fake as Oreos. So I'm gonna give these guys a seven out of 10 as well. Annie's brand. These are Annie's homegrown organic grabbits. <laughs> now that's pretty cool. If you've got little kids, they might get a kick out of that. It's got like a little picture of a rabbit on the front of it. <laughs> they come apart very easily, just like an Oreo cookie. Let's see how the flavor stands up. And these are organic cookies with plenty of gluten in them. Well, they're a little bit chewier than the original Oreos. Again, I feel like the depth of flavor isn't quite there. So not quite as good. I'm gonna give them a six or seven out of 10 for how similar they are to Oreos, but only like a five out of 10 for flavor. Not the best candidate out there. All right, the last two are the O Organic. I got vanilla cream sandwiches and the chocolate cream sandwiches. Now these are the uh, Safeway store brand organic brands. It's a little bit pricier than original Oreos. Let's see how the flavor stands up. So far, I have not been impressed with the organic uh, cookies. The gluten-free cookies have all been fantastic though. So if you're looking for an alternative to Oreos and don't mind paying a little bit extra, go for the uh, gluten-free. Apparently that's the way to go. So one box of these costs about as much as a small box of Oreos, but you don't get nearly as many cookies. So in appearance, these look a lot more similar to the Oreo cookies than the original uh, tuxedos. If you remember those had that really washed out flavor that were more like gray than uh, black. Let's see how the flavor stands up. All right, so the chocolate cookies uh, definitely have a lot more crunch to them, and the flavor is very similar to Oreos. I think these are like an eight or nine out of 10, like for how similar they are to Oreos. The, the taste and the flavor, you definitely know that you're eating a chocolate cookie. So a lot of good cocoa flavor in there. I'm gonna give these guys a seven out of 10 for flavor. Pretty dang good. Now the final contenders, the O Organic Safeway store brand uh, vanilla cookies. That is really strange. If you took the flavor of the original golden Oreos and like cranked it up to 11. That's what these guys taste like. They taste more like Oreos than Oreos do. So these are really, really good. I like these a lot. So very similar. I'll give them a nine out of 10 for how similar they are to the golden Oreos, except that they taste like what you think golden Oreos should taste like. So next time you're at Safeway or Vons or Albertsons, take a look, see if you can find the uh, big O organic uh, vanilla sandwich cookies and uh, see if you like them. Tell me what you think. I'm gonna give these an eight. We'll give them an eight and a half out of 10. So these are very nearly my favorites. I think the JoJo's gluten-free definitely gotta be my favorites though. <laughs>